under strengths, you've just put accounts. Yeah. That's your job, though. That's just. That's just. Mm. No, Keith. I was sort of looking for your skills within your job. So, is there anything else you could have put there? No. Okay. Um. Under weaknesses, you've put eczema. You had a really fantastically welcoming buffer. <laughs> <laughs> the wine was mm. something else. Yeah. Everyone's sort of quite friendly. Yeah, everyone's... And Tim, Tim seems nice. Hey, yeah. <laughs> He's a good laugh. I'm just gonna, um... Has he got a, a girlfriend or...? Tim! <laughs> Why? What's up with you? On the thing. Why, why? Would you? Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> the equation. Yeah, I know, but I mean, if you weren't, would he be... If I weren't. Madness. Right, you've, you've, le you've left this section completely blank, Keith. You haven't done the Q&A. I thought that you filled that in. No, 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 this is aimed at you, look. Um, Look, to what extent do you believe that you have the skills and knowledge to perform your job effectively? And then you just tick one of the boxes. Not at all, to some extent, very much so, don't know. What would you tick? Don't know. OK. Um, question two. Uh, do you feel you have received adequate training to use your computer effectively? What are the options? Same as, they're always the same, always the same. Not at all, to some extent, very much so, don't know. Don't know. Don't know again, okay? Do you feel you are given the flexibility to decide how best to accomplish your goals? Do you want the options again? Yeah. Not at all, to some extent, always the same, very much so, don't, don't know. know. If don't know wasn't there, what would you put? Well, the option. Not at all. To some extent, very much so. Very, don't know. Very much so. Do you remember what the question was? No. Okay. Do you? Let's. We're going to leave that there. Going go karting again at the weekend with the lads. Oh yeah. What down super carts? Yep. You any good? Came first last time I went. Eight minutes fifty-one. Got a certificate. Yeah, well, I went down there the first day it opened, right? And I did a couple of laps. I pulled over. The bloke that runs the thing came over and said, "Oi, no professionals." I took my helmet off. I said, "I'm not a professional." He said, "You're not a professional." I said, "No." He said, "Well, you should be. If I was you, I'd take up Formula One. And if you drive like that, you'd probably be the best in the country." So I'm not interested. I'm making shitloads out of computers. You ever had to go at Speedway? Have you? Yep. Right, well, I was doing it once, and um, I was bombing it round, and some idiot had left, like, a, a ramp thing out. Lift her bugs. I could see the people were going, oh, my God, if that guy hits that ramp going at that speed, he's definitely dead. I hit the ramp, I took off in the air, I turned over in the air, and they were going, well, he's definitely dead now. I landed on my wheels, pulled over and said, what were you worried about? Uh, about five. Five? Yeah. Um, so who was this chap with again? What's this in? The mother's meeting? So Dawn tells me shutting down reception at five. Wow, just half hour early today. No, you just think it can run OK without her? Well, yeah. Phones are going to they can answer their own, they do their own post tonight. Just well, once. that's good, so we can probably lose her all together then, can we? What do you mean? Well, if you don't need a receptionist, we may as well let her go. You know, she, either she's needed or she's not. We do need a receptionist. Well, my point is, David, you haven't put a, a system in place, you know? For your own needs, you've told Dawn to shut down reception at five. You haven't told these people they can pick up the phone if it rings. Well, I mean, does Dawn know that they can do their own post? Dawn, they can do their own post tonight. Yeah, there's no, so. yeah, no use telling her now. Wow. It's just there's no system in place. You're not thinking things through. I'm tired of this fuzzy thinking, David. All right, chill out. Don't have a cow, mate. Don't talk to me like you've forgotten who's in charge. Let me remind you, I'm your boss, yeah. OK? Yeah. Just... just try and think things through. That was your fault again. Took the rap for you, didn't I? You. Once, right, when Bruce Lee was filming, 
one of the extras just came over and just started a fight. Oh yeah, I know this, and he was amazing at coming through, but Bruce Lee just did a roundhouse on him. Well, no, he smashed him through a wall. And instead of firing him, he just said, go back to where you were, let's get on with the film. Man, those cats were as fast as lightning. You know when he's fighting Chuck Norris in Enter the Dragon? No. You've not seen that? No. Have you not? I can't... That is a classic. No, I've not seen him fight Chuck Norris in Enter the Dragon. I've seen him fight Chuck Norris in Way of the Dragon. Uh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Is it? Yeah. Why did you say you'd seen him fight Chuck Norris in Enter the Dragon? He fights Bob Wall in both, but Norris is only in Way of the Dragon. Yeah, I know. So when he's fighting Chuck Norris... In what? In Way of the Dragon. Correct, at last. Um... You know Bruce Lee's not really dead, don't you? Yes, yeah. yeah, in a book. What he did was he faked his own death so that he could work undercover for the Hong Kong police, infiltrating drugs gangs in the triads. Yeah, I reckon that's true. Yeah, I reckon that's true, because if you were going to send someone undercover to investigate the triads, you'd probably want the world's most famous Chinese film star. <laughs> <laughs> well, gone off dawn now, have you? What? So, what? What are you talking about? Just shut up. Shut up. <laughs>